Hi guys, welcome and thanks for coming back. Uh, this video I'm going to be, well not really stripping down, just opening up these carburetors which are off of a ZX600 or Ninja I believe. Just going to uh, take the bottoms off and take the tops off just for photographic purposes so I can uh, take photos of them and put them on eBay for sale. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first job is to uh, get the caps off. I think most of these are loose because I did take them off years ago to see what they look like inside. So just undo the screws. You will find a spring inside, like so. Put your screws back in the cap take your spring out but be careful because inside there this one has got like a plunger to hold it in but you have got the, like the long needle which can fall out and there can be spacer washers on there and all sorts of things what can mess you up if you don't take them out in order so these should just lift out like so there is the needle, pretty corroded, and usually underneath the needle you'll need some long nose pliers to get that little plug out, but I will show you just in case you are doing some ZX600R carburetors, just give you a bit of a guidance, just pull that plug out like so. And be careful of what comes out there. Make sure there's no more washes or anything inside. There it just has a little spring on the top and a little plastic collar. Sometimes they do have shim washers underneath to raise it up or lower it down. So be careful if they just drop out and you won't know where they went. So just stick that back in. Can be a bit difficult to stick back in because it's hard to find the hole. There we are, there's that one. Stick your cap back in. Get your plunger and plunge it back in. They are quite difficult because of the spring. And they're in a deep hole, so they're pretty difficult to you have to persevere and keep at it, otherwise you'll get the spring in the wrong place. So that is how they come out at the top, to try and get the needle in the right place. As you can see through there, there's a little hole in the middle where the needle gets through. And there, when you push them back in there, They never seem to line up. That's it, it's gone. So that's the tops of the carburetors. Let's put this lid back on. Make sure you get the spring back into the uh, dudo. There is also little rubbers here, which this one has fallen out, look. Little rubber o-rings. So be careful. It just goes into there. Put that back in the little slot. Make sure you don't lose those. Good job I rejected it, wasn't it? Put the screws back in for now. No need for me to tighten them up fully because, like I say, I'm just taking all these parts off to take photos. But I've already taken photos of the tops, 
So now all we have to do is take all the bottoms off. Now if you're new to stuff like this, trying it yourself, thinking it looks quite easy, well it is quite easy normally, but uh, don't forget you do come across problems where there's bolts or screws that will not budge and you have to improvise and work out how to get them out. So let's undo all the screws. Luckily these are cracking quite easily. So that's one. I'll put my screws back in the bowl so I don't lose them. Oh, look a bit manky, don't they? Do look a bit manky. Yep. Oh yes. These frail these little bowls are pretty easy to undo. Let's hope we can carry on as we mean to carry on. Let's hope we can carry on as we mean to carry on. What? Yep, anyway. Looks pretty nasty as well. No, that one's not going to budge. Nor is that one. Oh, that one's going. About this side. They're not going to go. They're not going to go. So, uh, bloody hell. So, yeah, let's go and uh, find the impact driver and try with the impact driver. I'll turn you off while I go and look for it. Okay, so these two have come off easy enough, but the outside two are jammed solid. So, Try the impact driver. Has that done it? Nope. Done that one. It's just these two. Sit it a bit harder, shall we? <laughs> so nothing breaks. One last try. I was hitting it pretty hard then as well, wasn't I? So, here goes nothing. Oh, I think it's gone. Yes, that's two. I've just got to try and get this one. Thank you. Alright. We done it. Yes, we've done it. So let's get all these free screws out as well. See how badly corroded these are inside. Tap your screwdriver. Get the stator then. So it's just this one now. She also has stubborn screws. Got that one. We haven't got that one, and we haven't got that one. So let's try and do these two. We've done it. Nope. That one's proving pretty difficult. Let's 
try this one. I think we've got that one. <laughs> no, we haven't got that one. And we haven't got that one either. So looks like a cutting grooves, don't it? Yeah, it's an acrine up. One last try. Nope. Nope. What I want to try and do is uh, chisel it with a chisel. Okay, let's try and make a bit of a groove with a here chisel. The groover, make the groover. Let's make the groove a bit wider with the bigger saw. Should do it. So let's just try the chisel on this one. see anything happening but I think I've done it I thought I'd done it somewhat moved yes I have done it cool what's that one Just this one at the back now. You've got to start it off with the chisel. Don't think it's gone, but no, it's definitely not gone. I think it's done now. Yes! Oh yes, baby! This last one. There we go. And if you are uh, going to take any old carburetors apart, which have been standing for a while, you can guarantee you're going to have to improvise with tools like this. So that's all the bottoms off. We're going to get some photos of that for eBay. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we're back. That's all the photos taken. Sorry about the uh, condition of my backyard, but I am in the process of putting another shed in. I've only got one, two, three. And I think I could deal with four. I could deal with seven. So all buttoned back up, all the photos are taken.
see how we get, see what we can get for them on eBay.